the unicorn. Cool. See, I told you you would see a unicorn, didn't I? Hey internet friends, good morning, welcome and welcome to the Vanilla Sierra YouTube channel. Um, we're still in the Highlands and today we are investing into Infinite for the day just to see what we can get up to and all that good kind of stuff. I have little man and Mr. here with me. Okay then, not feeling it, that's fine. Stop playing games. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry I ruined your games. You guys can keep playing if you just say it a little quietly. Anyways, um, as I said, a second ago, we're in Inverness today, and actually right now we are in a vegan cafe. It's the only fully vegan cafe in um, Inverness. I'll put it down in the description, but it is beautiful. It's a huge display case of fancy, delicious vegan pastries, and it looks like an incredible barista. And they even have like a whip special where you can get um, six of sharing photos, you can get two things, some of the paste, and all the salad. Um, we were gonna get that, but a little man wanted a fancy sandwich. But I got the fancy half of pineapple pastry, and the little man got a sandwich, and then Mr. got the soup of the day. So we'll show you what you guys make it here, but it looks incredible. It's been like two minutes since I last saw you, but my chai latte is here, and it looks so delicious. Let me show it to you really carefully. I'm probably gonna spill it all to myself. Mm. It's delicious. Oh my goodness. Probably the best chai I've had in like months. Not exactly. It looks really nice. The daddy loves this soup, doesn't he? Compared to your soup, my dear. That's Leaky's bookshop over there, which is famous. It's a used bookstore, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's always got something good in. Oh it's like a library. Yeah. Oh, but it's a, you can buy them. I just look really cool inside. Hey guys, um, so I don't want to talk too loudly because as you guys can see I'm in a bookshop. I'm actually inside of Leaky's bookshop which is an iconic place here in Inverness. And I was in the cookery section and I found a literal time capsule. Do you guys know who this is? It's like Jamie Oliver, like young. I almost didn't recognize him, but of course it's not a vegan cookbook, but I was just like, wow. The things you can find in old bookshops, which is why I love them so much. I haven't really featured them a lot on the channel, but I do spend a lot of time in used bookstores because you never know what you're gonna find. Like you might even find the naked chef when he was a youngin. <laughs> oh, he's reading um, children's books about um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's got the Good Samaritan. years old or something. Wild duck. Oh, I like the pheasant one. Um, we're gonna go to the old high church which is right next door. Uh, I don't know a lot about it except I do know it read in our travel guide that the last of the Jacobits were incarcerated and executed there and so if you look around in the graveyard you can sometimes find bullet holes in some of the stones. So I think that'd be a fun little adventure for a little man and just good for all of us to spend a little bit more time in the sunshine because the sun just came out again. So let's go have a look. Come on. It's right next door. So you guys the direction so leaky's bookstore is right here and then just up that way a little bit there is a little um alleyway that goes right up to the cemetery the old high church and cemetery just here. go ahead bud mama it's just the death this is a cemetery yeah what? oop i found a bullet hole i think could be you think that's a bullet hole right there maybe looks like a bullet hole Maybe?
as you guys can see, I'm in a gift shop right now. And I'm actually currently in the um, Tartan Factory gift shop right now. Um, Tartan Factory is where they make like the traditional Scottish um, kilts and like fabrics for all the traditional dress and everything. Um, for obvious reasons, we're not going in because um, we don't like to support things that require wool. So um, I'm trying not to buy anything like that. But if there's something synthetic, maybe I'll find something in the gift shop. But um, I asked little man a few minutes ago if he thought this was for a girl or for a boy. And it was really cute, so I'm going to show that to you. <laughs> Would you say this outfit is for a boy or do you think this outfit is for a girl? Outfit for a girl? No, it's not. But boy? It's for a boy, yeah. What? Anyways, um, we're just having a little look around here just to kind of see everything. I felt like going to the gift shop to have a look, kind of, you know, like touch and see, you know, what it's like. Um, would be like happy medium between the two, so yeah. And of course, as usual, now that he's done looking at the kilt, the little man's looking for books and Mr. is supervising. I also learned something that apparently it is acceptable in Scotland to, as long as you're wearing traditional dress, you can carry a knife in your sock. Which interesting, I thought they had to be less than five centimeters, apparently not in Scotland, so that was very interesting. Um, let's see, what else have we seen in here? We saw a bunch of different clan stuff, so we have a family member who's actually part of the Grand Clan, so we've been looking up little items to see if we can find anything for him. And we realized he probably has everything, so just having a browse and then we'll see what we get up to after that. I guess it's the original fanny pack. I don't know. What would you call it? It's definitely the kind of thing that my dad used to wear when I was little. He used to wear a lot of like you? knitted sweaters. Grandpa used to wear a lot of them. What? Mm-hmm. All day? Mm -hmm. I love this style so much. I just wish it wasn't made out of wool. So much of this stuff is so pretty. Mama, time to go. <laughs> time to go, huh? Whoa. Now that's a dress. I would definitely wear that. Mister, would you wear the matching outfit to go with me? Hey guys, so as you can see, we're in the car. Actually, we just left Inverness about 20 minutes ago, and we're back at the house, and I lost a couple of boys. I think Mister is just being ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous is um, But little man is gone. He's been gone since we got into the car. Oh, maybe he's moving. He might be awake now, but... Anyways, uh, we had a pretty good day in Inverness. Um, just walked around a lot as you guys saw, did some shopping, just kind of enjoyed sort of our last day in the city. We are going to be here for two more nights. Well, sorry, tonight and tomorrow night. So I guess that's two, two more days, whatever. We'll be here tomorrow, which is Rosh Hashanah, and then we're leaving to go back, unfortunately, to Yorkshire. But yeah, pretty fun day. Mister, did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Uh I wish the castle was in full of scaffolding, but... I know, I know. I wish it was open, too. That was really sad. I really wanted to see Inverness Castle, but... It's anyway. a cool castle looking from the outside. Yeah, it does look really cool. Um, but anyways, I was thinking about this on the way home, and the name of the cafe we actually went to, I said it wrong earlier, but it's Culture Cafe and Deli, and it's called Culture Cafe because it has a sister cafe that actually has like a cultured vegan cheese counter. Oh, that's why it's called that, but nice. they didn't have any vegan cheese in stock. Um, or at least I didn't see any and I didn't think about asking so it's a really busy place today But yeah, that's the end of the vlog for today We're gonna go in the house make some curry brick because we always travel with Japanese curry for some reason I don't know what that's about enjoy the sunset and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, Bye.